If you recognize the signs, it's a sign of how old you are. Burmashade gave up roadside advertising back in 1964. But you may still be able to spot some of these barnyard billboards. But soon, they too will become just a memory. It has been one man's labor of love to capture this picture of vanishing America before it's too late. I was here seven years ago and took a picture. And the first thing that surprised me is how faded the sign is. How you can hardly see it. And the second thing is, is that there's a much more disrepair. Uh, I, I didn't realize uh, how fast it's disintegrating. Uh, but the reason I started is just because of this. You know, they're not going to be around forever. And uh, at least I have a, a visual record of these barns. Tom Plimpton never intended to become a photo documentarian of mail pouch barns. No, uh, I'm a, I was a banker. And I lived in Indianapolis, and my folks lived in Lake County uh, near Chicago. And I passed a couple mail pouch barns on the way up, and I said, they're going to go the way of uh, the Burma Shave signs. And so I took a picture of a couple of them, and that led to a couple more. And pretty soon, an hour and a half drive of home was taking three and four hours as I was going, you know, and I just got hooked. Since 1982, Plimpton estimates he's traveled 10,000 miles photographing 235 mail pouch barns. Half of those are already gone. Many more are rapidly deteriorating. Victims of changing times and a changing countryside. This is the first picture. It's the one I passed all the time when I was going home to visit my folks. It's now down. This barn's also down. This is a barn on US 40, gone. This is a barn going from Bloomington to Brown County, gone. While the barns are a study in nostalgia, so too is the man who had a hand in painting almost all of them. It used to be quite a crew. There used to be eight of us, so. And you had, you had some pretty good times. You'd go out and work all day, and then on the, just about like a bunch of cowboys, we'd come in a certain town on the weekend, and the whole bunch would get together, and so we had quite a picnic. Harley Warwick was the last of the mail pouch barn painters. After nearly a half a century of leaving his signature artwork on some 20,000 barns, he retired to his Ohio home in the heart of what was mail pouch country. Yeah, I'll be driving along and the landscape just seems familiar, you know. There should be a barn here someplace and here, here's a mall sitting there or a bunch of new homes. Back when he was still painting, Harley had already begun to sense that this part of rural Americana was slowly fading into history. Well, I, I hate to see a nice, nice old barn go to pot. They'll let the roof get off of it, and then it's only about a couple of years it's gone. And it, no one could afford to put those back up the way they were. After the Highway Beautification Act banned many billboards in the 1960s, some mail pouch barns were saved by an historic designation and Harley ended his career on the road alone, repainting them. And uh, using the same equipment and whatever, so I might say I'm working in the past, so yet it's, it's I don't know, it's crazy to me, but it got real popular there all at once. So. If somebody told me 20 years ago somebody would be taking a picture, I'd be pouring lamp black into a bucket and stirring it up, I'd say you're crazy. By the time he was the subject of this television profile in the mid-80s, Harley had already become somewhat of a national treasure in whom we could celebrate the old-fashioned work ethic. Well, there's a lot of people who tell me I'm lucky, uh, you know, but I've always figured that uh, luck goes along with hard work. The harder you work, the luckier you get, usually. So how do you feel about all the publicity that you get? Oh, you appreciate it, but I mean, it, it doesn't make the barn any easier to paint, and the, the sun's just as hot, and the rain falls just the same. It doesn't make any difference as far as the work. Well, why is it you think people are so curious about you? Well, just like the last of anything, I guess. They, 
It's Amer the old American system. When something becomes scarce, they got to have it. No one knows exactly how many mail pouch barns remain, but Harley figures all of them will weather away within a decade. The last mail pouch painter now leaves his signature on small replicas of the barns he loved. I, I'd say 99% of the people that buy this off of me has nothing to do with tobacco. They don't smoke, they don't chew. It's just a landmark thing. They grew up with it. Harley is working on a book about his barns. Tom Plimpton plans to donate his photos to an historical society so that we might remember these colorful pieces of vanishing America. I was going to say sad, but it's really not sad because I knew from the beginning this is what was going to happen to the barns. But once you get hooked, they kind of become your friends. Probably wistful is a good way to say that. Maybe a little sad, but wistful. Just that it's something that you can't bring back in uh, nostalgic Americana. <laughs>